to lead 10 of these modalities movement online therapy sessions. Today, with the use of a foam roller, reflex balls or tennis ball, I've got, I've got a hard and a soft reflex ball here, and um, a circle resistance band. We're going to focus on improving your range of movement, specifically working around the hips. So we have internal and we have external rotation. So we want to loosen up these areas of the body so that we can move into different positions with ease. So no tension and sometimes having a lot of tension in these areas can result in knee, hip and uh, ankle issues as well as the lower back. So we really want to focus on the breathing as another part of um, releasing um, these areas of the body to help improve the range of movement. Let's start in standing with um, our reflex ball, the harder one if you have, or just a tennis ball will do. One other thing that we need to always remember is our water, because that will improve our lymphatic flow. So it help you get rid of toxins and move the water through the body, as well as um, hydrating the fascial tissue, because the fascial tissue that surrounds each of the muscle fibers that make up the muscle bundles is well hydrated. Well, it should be well hydrated. So we need to keep drinking as much water as we can to plump it up and increase um, the movement there with the flow of water and um, that will help decrease your risk of injury. So keeping that well hydrated is always very important. Let's start in standing. We're going to take the reflex ball under the foot and just a nice release from the toes to the heel. You can move across that entire foot. Focus into the arch of the foot. So identify any areas that might be tender and that areas that need releasing. Often from the arch of the foot. And I want you to drop the heel onto the ball, or onto the mat or the floor. And you're going to keep the ball in the center of the foot. And now roll the foot from side to side. So you're dropping the outside of the foot and the inside of the foot onto the mat, creating a bit of a stretch up the ankle. Let's lift the foot in a nice quick proprioceptive movement. Just for that awareness of your body in space, you're going to roll, roll nice and quickly and then release the ball and feel that tingling sensation under the foot. Let's take the ball under the other foot and rolling all the way from the toes to the heel. So the movement and the releasing as you go, um, with, as with any exercise, should make you feel quite thirsty. So make sure you keep drinking that water. Let's take the ball under the arch of the foot and rotate the foot from side to side. So you'll see I'm wrapping my foot around the ball and actually dropping the inside of the foot and the outside of the foot onto the floor or the mat. Really focus on a nice big rotation up and over. So it's a nice release for the ankles as well. A nice, and then just a nice quick proprioceptive movement under the arch of the foot. So it's nice and quick. Keep going and release it. Let's put that reflex ball to the side and I want you just to stand there, be aware of your posture, relax the shoulders and open up. If you're going to bend the knees slightly and relax the arms. I want you to keep the balls of the feet connected to the floor or the mat and you're just going to bounce. So just let's get that blood flowing and let's Increase the heart rate a little bit, just warm yourselves up and just relax the arms, relax the shoulders. 
maybe a little flotation in the neck, but not the head from side to side, and then just shake it up. Good. We're going to take, let's all take the right foot behind. So I'll just, um, we'll stay on the same side. So we're going to tuck the tailbone under. So the right leg is back, tailbone is tilted under. We're going to take our hands <clears throat> onto what's called the iliac dungeon. So I want you to find the hip bone. And I want you to actually take the fingers. So take the thumb around the back, take the fingers and actually push into the inside of the hip bone. That's what we call the iliac dungeon. Now I want you to take the opposite hand and I want you to bounce the knee down. So as you stretch, so work directly onto the skin. As you, let's tuck this in here. As you anchor your hip bone or your iliac dungeon with the one hand, you're going to slide the other hand up towards the rib cage and across, just releasing the diaphragm. Keep holding on to that iliac dungeon and I want you to now bounce the front foot side to side. If there is any pain or tenderness in the ankle or the knee, you can stay in that static position. But if you can move around, as well as slide the fingers up. I want you to try and do that. Last three, and two, and one, good. From there, keeping your lunge position, release that hand from the hip, and you're going to take the hand onto the inside, so the fingertips onto the inside of that armpit, the thumb onto the front, so we squeezing the pectoral muscle between the thumb and the fingers and we're going to circle the elbow up and back. So think of it in this, it's as an extension of that release from the diaphragm up into the pectoral muscles. So you're going to focus on opening up that posture. As you circle that elbow up and back, pull down Create that two-directional pull and you're focusing on a nice deep breath in through the nose and breathe out through the nose as the elbow drops and comes around. Let's see, do one more and release. Good. You can take the hand onto the hip or just relax the arm at the side. Now take the opposite hand, wrap it around the back of the neck and you're going to rotate your head. So if you carry on where you are, I'm just going to come closer. You're going to take the hand behind the neck and you're going to rotate and look over your shoulder. So you're giving that fascial tissue around the neck a nice stretch. Continue the movement. Stay in that lunge position and keep tucking the tailbone under. So you're getting a nice stretch down the front of that leg. Let's do one more, wrap it around and look over. Let's bring the foot back and we're going to do the same thing with the left leg. So taking your left foot back into a lunge position. Let's bring the left hand onto the inside of that hip. The fingers are on the inside of the hip, the thumb is behind the back. So just really focusing on pushing down into that iliac dungeon the tailbone and the bend well into the front knee just don't overextend the knee so you want to be in this position with the knee above the ankle and a nice bend and a nice tuck under so hold it in that position and now bounce for a few slide the fingers up so you're anchoring that hip and then when you're ready if you're ready keep the movement coming up and releasing the diaphragm and slide the fingers across. Keep going, tucking under, another four and three and two and one. Good. Release the hands, stay in this position, maybe tuck under a little bit if you've lost that and let's take the hand 
onto the pectoral muscles. So here, rather than working over this, over the directly onto the skin, you can take the T-shirt and put it into the armpit and squeeze, breathing in and breathe out. Breathe in and out. Circle that elbow up and back. Keep going. Keep that tap going in that lunge position. Nice deep breath in the circle back. We've got another four. And three. And two. And the last one. And release that arm. Let's relax the arm at the side. Take the opposite hand. So your right hand. Wrap it around the left side of the neck and massage as you look over that shoulder. Release it and twist again. And over the shoulder and twist again. Keep going. Relaxing that left arm. Tucking the tailbone under and twist. Do another three and two and one. Good. From there, drop down onto that knee and release both knees. We're coming forward onto the abdominals. Just put the runner to the side and you're going to take one of your balls. Preferably the softer ball. So if you have a tennis ball, you can use that. Now you're going to bring the ball just above the knees, between the inner thighs. And you're going to drop down onto your front. Now I want you to squeeze that ball and you're going to test your range of movement. So you're going to pulse the feet out and see which side you've got more movement. That will indicate to you, if you don't already know, which hip is a little bit tighter. So you want to bounce the feet out. Just relax and bounce the feet out. Look at that range of movement. And then come back into that relaxed position. And just loosen up into that rotation. So this is obviously an inward rotation. Four, three, two, and one. Good. Come up into a seated position again, and we're coming into that knee box position. So let's just start off in a seated position with the feet flat. So that was obviously your inward rotation. Now with the knee box position, we're looking at an inward rotation on this leg, and the outward rotation on the front leg. And let's just see, check your range of movement in that rotation. And where you need to improve that range of movement, we're gonna focus a lot around this area to do that. Let's come into that knee box position and hold it there. So if you bring the right foot in front, let's take the, the reflex ball or you can take your fist. I want to give you two options here. So taking your fist, and I want you to massage from the heel, so between the ankle bone and the heel, I want you to take your fist and you massaging onto the inside of the arch. From the heel, under the ankle bone, your other option is to take the ball and do the same movement. If you're using the hand, you can push up along the inside of that arch, use the knuckles. Now what you're going to do is you're going to take the reflex ball and I want you to bring it just above the ankle bone. So right up around this area on the soft tissue behind the shin bone there. And you're going to take both thumbs and I want you to take them 
above the ball onto the top side of the ankle and you're going to apply a nice deep pressure there into the ankle and we're going to point and flex and I want you to hold that flex position and point and flex, point and flex, point and flex. So loosening up into that ankle. Now hold the foot in the flex position. I want you to pull your toes back. If you want to do it manually, you can. So use the opposite hand, pull the toes back. With your fist, you're going to massage a little bit more into the arch, up and over the inside line of that foot as well, back into the arch. So really focus on releasing that deep core line there. Pulling the toes back and give it a good stretch. Let's release the ankle, just lie the leg back on the mat. You can use the ball. What I'd like you to try is moving with your thumbs. So behind the ankle bone and the, now it's moving up into the shin, behind that shin bone, you're going to take the thumbs and you're going to push them down side by side and move up and down that fascial tissue there. Even or obviously the muscles underneath that fascial tissue. But just getting that movement there and that hydration into the fascial tissue. Move up all the way to the knee. And all the way up. If you have got a trigger point there that needs more releasing, then get back to that spot and pay it a little bit more attention. And with the ball you can, or with your elbow, I want you to take the elbow or the ball as I said, and you're going to push it down and twist it around. Push it down and twist. With the elbow, you can move in a little circular motion. And again, just move the elbow or the ball around and find those points that need releasing. Move it around. Let's all move onto the ball and you're going to push down and twist. So we're going to carry on up the inner thigh, that deep core line squeeze push down and twist, push down like you would when you're squeezing a lemon, push down and twist, push down and twist. Keep going right up onto that hip. You push it down and twist, push it down and twist. Bring the ball right into that hip flexor and I want you to hold it down. And you're going to rock forward and back a little bit. Push into the ball, push into the ball, and just a little bit of a rocking motion forward and back. Good, we're gonna repeat the same thing to the other side. We'll go onto the glutes on the roller, so open up the knees and rotate to the other side. So let's start off either with the ball or the fist, and just give it the, the arch and that deep core line, a nice release there into the arch of the foot and move it around. Going to now take the reflex ball, the soft reflex ball, and bring it underneath the ankle, just above that ankle bone. Take the thumbs, push the thumbs into the ankle, hold on to it, and let's point and flex the foot a little bit. Now hold it in that flex position. Pull the toes back and let's massage into the arch. So you should feel 
with pulling the toes back, that extension, and you can give it a nice release. So down under that foot, so there's that plantar fascia, that we extended, and we're going to massage along into that area. Use the knuckle, use the other reflex ball if you want to, and really get into that release. Let's release the ball and take the thumbs and now on that soft tissue behind the ankle bone and the shin bone we're going to push the thumbs into the leg and carry on up the leg. Don't have the knee too bent. Keep it at an angle so it's easy to get into that release. Push down and keep moving up. While you're doing this, be aware of your breathing and I want you to see how it improves as you release the deep core line. The deep core line is running all the way up the inside of that leg over the diaphragm. So the more we release it, the easier that diaphragm can focus on breathing without all the tension around this area. We're going to take the elbow or the ball into the, the area around the knee and give it a nice release. So you're massaging in your circular motions around that area. You can continue with the elbow up the inner thigh or you can take the ball and you're going to push down and you're going to twist. Push down and twist. Move it around and up along that leg. One hand, two hands if you want to get a little bit deeper into that release. You're going to squeeze and twist. Squeeze and twist. Right up into that body. Hold the ball in that hip flexor, push it down, a nice deep pressure, and then just a little bit of rocking forward and back. And the last one, rock forward and release. Good. From there, let's just have a quick drink of water and move on to the foam roller. Come into a seated position on that foam roller. We're going to release the glutes now. So if you're taking your right buttock onto the roller, I want you to take your right arm behind you. So it's the same hand as the buttock. Lift the left buttock, cross the right ankle over the left knee. If your hips are very tight, then you can keep that leg extended and just continue the movement with that extended leg. Otherwise, I want you to move into that lower back and all the way up, or despite whatever position you're in, move right into that lower back and over the glutes. If there's any strain in the shoulder, you can drop onto the elbow but it is going to limit your range of movement up and down there. So start off small and then you can increase that range of movement as you get more comfortable in each position. Nice big movement up and over the glutes and into that lower back. Let's repeat the same thing to the other side. So your left ankle crosses over, your right knee, right buttock is off the roller, left hand on the mat. And you're going to 
to move into the lower back and up and over the glutes. The more you rotate your foot and open up that knee, the more you're going to open up into the hip and get a little bit of a deeper release into that area. Another two, back down. And another one. Good. From here, I want you to rotate onto your hands and knees. And you're going to position the roller onto the front of the legs. So we're going to release those quadricep muscles. Walk the elbows forward if you need to. Move them back if you need to. But try and come right from the hips all the way down to the knees. If you can, move over the knees. If there's no pain, you can do so. Focusing on your breathing. Turn the toes in a little bit, so you're working a little bit more into the lateral side of the legs. And now turn the feet out. So you're working along the deep core line, which we have released with the ball or the elbow. So we'll just get a little bit more release there. Let's reposition the roller. So we're going to bring it just underneath or above the pubic bone and around the hip bone, so that a little bit higher than the roller. You're going to shift yourself over to the left side of your roller. Bring your right knee up onto the roller. Now I want you to turn that knee in a little bit, the one that's on the mat. Keep the knee on the mat and you're going to bounce the foot out. So we are releasing the tensor fascia lata, the T or the TFL, which is the top at the top of the iliotibial band that runs down the lateral side of the leg. We're focusing on releasing that, so you should feel a bit of a clicking over that area. Keep moving into it. So again, this is a little bit of an internal rotation. Now drop down onto your forehead and your chest if you can. Now you're going to focus on squeezing the glutes that we've just released. And you're going to bounce the knee up and down. Breathe in and out. Relax that foot. Don't tense and flex the foot. Relax the foot then you'll feel more benefit into that release. Make sure the roller is not moving around. You want to feel that release there. Good. And go. Keep going. Another four. Maybe three. Two more. The last one. Let's do the same thing to the other side. So shift yourself over to the right side of your roller on that elbow and lift the other knee up so the left knee on the row on the mat the left knee on the roller the right foot on the is lifted up and the left the right knee is on the roller on the mat let's go into that rotation so bounce that foot out to the side Good. keep this foot relaxed the same foot that's on the, the knee that's on the, on the roller. Keep that foot nice and relaxed. So don't lift it up. Try and relax it there. And open up well into those hips. Keep going into that rotation. Make sure you're just underneath the hip bone here. That's when you'll feel that release. Let's drop down onto the front, onto our chest, and forward onto the hands. And lift. 
and lower left foot. Make sure you're squeezing the glutes, lifting up and lowering down. Getting a little bit deeper into that release. Breathe in as you lift up, breathe out as you drop down. Keep going. Three more. Two more. And the last one. And release. Good. Come up onto your hands and knees. And let's take the roller extended forward. Knife edge of the hands onto the roller. Bring your hips over your knees and extend your chest forward. So open up nicely into the pelvis and bounce the chest up and down. Look down at the mat and focus on that stretch across the pectoral muscles. Take a nice deep breath in. And as you breathe out, I want you to tuck the tailbone around your spine and come up into this lifted position and just bounce it out here. Good. Breathe in and uncurl through the spine. Okay, our next movement is on the knees. So if you need more cushioning, you can just double up the mat and bring the knees onto the mat. We're going to start off with the legs parallel. So when I say parallel, the shins and the feet parallel. We're going to open up the arms. So you're squeezing the shoulder blades together. As you breathe in, I want you to bounce and open up, squeezing the shoulder blades together. Notice the palms are facing up, bounce into that position. Now you're going to tuck the tailbone and round the spine. Bounce there, two, three, four. Breathe in, bounce, two, three, four. Breathe out and tuck, two, three, four. Breathe in and bounce, two, three, four, breathe out and tuck, two, three, four, breathe in and bounce, two, three, four, breathe out and tuck, so get that movement coming from the hips, three, four, breathe in and open, two, three, four, three more and tuck, two, three, four, breathe in and open, two, three, Four, breathe out and tuck. Two, three, four, breathe in and open. Two, three, four, make sure the shoulders are dropping. Two, in this position now slightly lift up, but over here we want them to pull back for two, three, four. This time we're going to continue the same movement. I want you to turn your knees in. But make sure that you're not taking any strain in the knees. If you are, I want you to return to that previous position. So turning the knees in and opening up across the chest. So we're bouncing into that open position. Nice deep breath in for three and four. Breathe out and tuck. Two, three, four. Breathe in and open. Two, three, four. Breathe out and tuck. Two, three, four, breathe in through the nose, two, three, four, breathe out through the nose, two, three, we've got four to go, breathe in and open, two, three, four, breathe out and tuck, two, three, four, breathe in and open, two, three, four, breathe out and tuck, two, three, Four, breathe in and open. Two, three, four. Let's do the last one. Two, three, four, and open up. Bring the feet together now. So you're opening up more into the knees, and that's our external rotation. So the same thing again. If you are experiencing any pain in the knees, I want you to return to the previous position or the first position. So let's open up, 
elbow is nice and open, shoulders nice and open, or chest nice and open so that shoulder blades are bouncing together at the back. And breathe in for two, three. So that movement is coming from here. Breathe out and tap. Two, three, four. Breathe in and open. Two, three, four. Breathe out and tap. Two, three, four. Breathe in and open. Two, three, four. Breathe out and tap. Two, three, four. Keep going in five. Two, three, four. Breathe out and tuck. Two, three, four. Breathe in and open. Two, three, four. Breathe out and tuck. Two, three. Do another three. Breathe in and open. Two, three, four. Breathe out and tuck. Two, three, four. Breathe in and open. Two, three. Four, breathe out and tuck. Two, three, four. Finish off with last one. Two, three, four. And breathe out, tuck. Two, three, four. Nice deep breath in. Open up. Let's come down onto the mat again and take your foam roller and keep that softer reflex ball handy. Have a quick drink of water. We're going to bring the neck onto the foam roller. So lie yourself back down. You're going to take the feet, straddle the mat with your feet. And just a few rotations in the neck from side to side. Just loosening up along that occipit ridge. The bony process at the base of the skull. Now you're going to take that soft reflex ball and I want you to do that squeeze and twist. So you're going to start off right at the base of the sternum, the bony process again, but it's a nice place to release. Often an area we carry a lot of tension because we're not breathing properly, we're in that flight and fight response. And that can also lead to things like reflux, that acid indigestion, if we're in that stressful state. So push down, squeeze and twist. Squeeze the ball and twist. Squeeze and twist. Let's take the ball in the left hand and move up to the right shoulder. So again, you're going to push down and twist. Push down, continue the movement. Push down and twist. Push down and twist. Push down and twist, down and twist. right up towards that shoulder. Push down, push down. You can open up that palm so the shoulder is not inwardly rotating with outward rotation. And push down and twist, push down and twist, push down and twist. Keep moving around that area. And then when you're ready, let's go over to the other side. So stay where you are. Open up that shoulder, palm facing up. And you're going to push down into that. So that clavicle, that bone that runs up from the sternum to the shoulder, you're working just underneath that clavicle. Push down and twist. Push down and twist. Push down and twist. Keep going. Now you're going to take the ear into the roller. And you're going to nod the head onto the side so that ear can go into the roller. Take your soft reflex ball. You can take the harder one if you want to. And roll along the jawline. So this is a nice release for the face. And any tension in that jaw from clenching. Move underneath or in front of the ear, just below the ear. And massage over that TMJ. That forearm, mandibular joint. Yeah. And take the ball around the cheeks, up into the temporal lobe next to the eye. And just a nice massage over the forehead and around to the other side. Let's move into that temporal lobe on the other side. 
and down along in front of the ear, over the jawline, over that TMJ, and along the front, over the chin. Let's just move down into the neck a little bit. So you're going to bring that ear back into the roller and you're going to take the ball, try to drop the shoulder down and just a little bit of massaging into that, what's called the sternocleidomastoid. So from behind the ear, that mastoid process, taking it down into the neck and along, along the clavicle. Let's do the same thing to the other side. Ear into the roller and drop the opposite arm. Open it up so palm facing the ceiling. So you're just opening up that neck area a little bit more and then massage up around the neck. Release your reflex ball. And now we're going to come so that knee box position with the legs. I want you to open yourself up as much as you can. We're going back onto the diaphragm and around the rib cage. So here I want you to go back onto working directly onto the skin. And I want you to actually take both hands and pinch the fascial tissue between the hands. So you're lifting it up over the rib cage. So when we think about the breathing, in the lungs and the diaphragm. So I'm just going to show you from this angle, you're going to move right into that lower back, right around the rib cage, pinch the fascial tissue over the ribs and loosen it up. So we want to be able to get that expansion, get that elasticity into the skin. Help stimulate that collagen production. Move the fingers up and around, all over the rib cage. So getting back to the diaphragm and the breathing in the lungs, those intercostal muscles between the lungs. Sometimes we carry a lot of tension if we're not breathing properly into the lower back, into the middle back. So this will help release that tension around that area squeeze and pinch it together and loosen it up. Get as far into the lower back as you can. Let's move over to the other side. So pinch it and lift it and move it around. So plump it up and hydrate it. Get the fluid rushing to those areas. You're drinking the fluid. Now get it moving around the body. Come back to the center so the feet are still apart. If you've had any abdominal surgery, any surgery, you can come bring your hands into your pants. I'm talking about the Caesar scar or anything. Do the same thing. So you're pinching that fascial tissue and that skin fascial tissue and moving it around there. So we're creating space to breathe into. From there, we're just going to release and then a few nods from side to side, just loosening up the neck. Come back to center, hug your knees into your chest. Rock yourself into a seated position. Let's just roll over the shoulders, those shoulder blades, head into the hands and lift your bum. And let's roll back and forth. You can tuck the elbows in, cradle your head, move from side to side, getting a bit deeper into those shoulder blades. Come 
down to the mat, so the tailbone on the mat, and we're going to focus on a little bit of arching and tucking, make sure the head is resting in the hands, a little bit of a space between the chin and the chest. Let's breathe into the arch and breathe out to the tuck. Push the lower back down and the head will follow. Breathe in, open up from the lower back and breathe out, tuck from the tailbone and that lower back again. Bring the feet slightly closer together. Breathe in and arch. Breathe out and tuck. Again, a nice deep breath in. Arch. Breathe out and tuck. If you do not have any pain in the lower back, I want you to lift the feet. So breathe out, tuck. Hold the tuck. Let the feet float off the mat. Drop the feet, then breathe in. So you're focusing on the exhalation. When you've exhaled, you're still exhaling. So you're pushing the lower back down to support it. Then you let the feet float off. If you do have any pain in the lower back, keep the feet flat or you can alternate one foot lift and release. Breathe in and arch. Breathe out, tuck. Let the other foot float off. Drop the foot. Now you arch. Breathing in. Breathe out. Tuck. If you can, let both feet float off. But don't let this happen. Make sure you're still tucking when you release the feet. Breathe into the arch. Breathe out to the tuck. Feet float off. Let's just do another two and a nice deep breath in and breathe out and let the feet float off and release and the last one and breathe out. If you can hold it in that lifted position now just let the breathing happen. You're going to restrict your, your inhalation and exhalation because you're in that tuck position. But keep breathing through the nose. Four, and three, and two, and one. Rock yourself up into a seated position. We're now going to take that circle resistance band and we're going to bring it just above the knees. Let's go into a little bit of hip rotation. So you bring your ear onto the roller and we're going to take that top leg and lift it up. So you should start to feel the glutes that we've activated. Take the hands either on the mat or onto the hip. And I want you to feel that external rotation there, pushing up, up. Now, if you are not experiencing any pain in the lower back, you can take that top knee slightly back. Just make sure you're activating the glutes. Then you should feel a little bit more into that area, more activation the foot up and down. Keep going. Another 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4. If you do experience any pain there, I want you to bring your foot back onto the other foot. Let's finish off there. Now we're going to take that top arm into an extension. The bottom, the top knee, keep the bottom knee forward. The top knee is lengthening in line with the hip. And we're going to bounce into that extension. So just focusing into a nice lateral line stretch, bouncing you down, down, and down. Slight rotation in that hip there. Four more. Three, two, and one. Hold it in that extended position and just keep the length and release. Let's do the same thing to the other side. So come back onto your back. And rock yourself up. Come over to the other side. Ear onto the roller. And keep the knee up, hand onto the hip. Or the leg, should I say. And let's go into that rotation. Make sure you're squeezing your glutes to support the lower back. Take the foot slightly behind. So the knee is not quite in line with the hip, but lengthening down. 
it's at a 45 degree angle. The bottom leg is slightly higher. Let's keep going. Rotate, rotate. We're going to do another 10 and a 9 and 8 and 7, 6 and 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Good. Now you can extend the knee in line with the body and reach that arm up and pulse and pulse. So you're feeling that lifting off at the bottom there. Reach, reach, keep going. Five and four and three and two and one. Good, hold it in that extension. Keep reaching out of that lateral line. And let's come forward onto hands and knees. You can put the rubber right aside. Spread the fingers out underneath the shoulders. Take a nice deep breath in. Pull the shoulder blades together at the back. Breathe out, tuck and round. Let's come into a neutral position. Curl the toes under, lift the knees off the mat and you bouncing into another external rotation with the hips. Bounce for 10, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Do it front back. Just come into a seated position and bring the band just a little bit higher than the ankles. Come back onto your front. Bring your soft the reflex ball and you're going to position it back between the knees. So let's see if our range of movement has improved here. And we're adding a little bit of resistance with the band. So you're going to relax the feet. Keep the, the ball squeezed between the knees and you're going to bounce, 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 bounce. Squeeze that ball so you're activating the deep core line as well. And bounce the feet out, 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 out. If you need to adjust the, the, the band slightly closer to the ankles, you can do that. If you feel you're not getting enough rotation, bounce, 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 bounce. Keep going. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Good. From there, just lengthen the legs out. Bring your hands back under your shoulders or next to your chest and tuck your tailbone under round the spine and pull back into a stretch slide your fingers to your knees breathe in and uncurl circle the shoulders up and back from there we're going to come lengthways onto the roller bring the head onto the roller make sure the tailbone is right at the base of the roller and you're going to sit up nice and tall and lower down through the spine. Control the movement. And let's make sure the head is resting on the roller. So shift your bum down slightly if you need to. Hug the roller with the shoulder blades. Lengthen the legs out. And just a little bit of rocking from side to side. So just release. And focus on the breathing. Rock yourself from side to side. Good. Bring the feet flat, elbows onto the mat, pushing the back arm line into the mat. So you're hugging the roller with the shoulder blades. We're going to breathe in and arch. Breathe out and tuck. As you breathe out and push the lower back into the roller, I want you to lift one foot up off the mat and the other foot up off the mat. So here we're going to focus a little bit on increasing the heart rate and moving into a nice bicycle. Let's slowly circle there. And as you get more confident with the balance on the roller, I want you to increase the movement. Let's extend the hands out or the arms out 
fingertips onto the mat. So you're really using those core muscles to help you balance and keep going with those circles. You're focusing on the breathing through the nose. Keep going. And just hug the knees into the chest. Just bounce the knees to the chest. You're going to do one more set like that. So just release the foot, release the other foot. So lower back is still pushing down into the, into the roller. Breathe in an arch, lifting the lower back off the roller. And breathe out, push down into the roller. Lift your one foot, lift your other foot. Fingertips or elbows resting on the mat. And you're going to go back slowly into that circle. And speed it up when you're ready, or if you're ready. And just increase that range of movement. Let's go. Let's go. Keep going. We've got 30 seconds. Nice, quick movements. Get that heart rate up. Keep going, 10 seconds to go, four, three, two, and one, good, keep the knees over the hips, pushing the lower back down into the roller, release the foot and then the other foot, bring the elbows back onto the mat, and I want you to try and extend, or I want you to extend your hands to your ankles. We're going to hug the roller with the shoulder blades. So keep pushing the roller or the shoulder blades around the roller. Then we're going to go back into your arch. Breathe out, tuck. Now breathe in. Thrust the tailbone and extend the hands up or down to the ankles and bounce the knees or pelvis up. Hold the knees still and just bounce the pelvis up. 10, 9, 8. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Lower it down through the spine. Open up the feet, turn the feet out. Now again, breathe into arch. Breathe out to tuck. Keep the feet as close to the hands as you can. Breathe in and thrust. And now pulse, pulse. Pulse really opening up into those hips. Let's do another 10, 9, 8, 7. Hopefully you feel those glutes really activating. 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Good. Slowly roll down onto the roller. Bring the feet slightly in. We're going to turn them in, but I want you to make sure you're not coming into a knock knee position. Just a slight internal rotation there. They will come slightly in. But keep the feet as close to the hands as possible. Breathe into arch. Breathe out to tuck. Breathe into thrust. And pulse up. Keep going. Keep going. So here you're feeling the lateral side now. Keep going for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, Three, two, and one. Lower down through the spine. Extend the legs out. Open up the arms. Keep hugging the roller with the shoulder blades. Have a nice big stretch. Yawn. Open up that mouth. And maybe a little bit of rocking from side to side. While you're in this position, just focus on the breathing. And bend your knees, bring the feet flat. Again, circle the arms. Breathe out. Bring your chin to your chest. Reach your hands to your knees. Take another nice deep breath in, but make sure you're activating the glutes to help you with your balance. Use the hands if you need to. Breathe in and unfold through the spine. 
sit up nice and tall and open up across the chest. a nice big drink of water. Let's just check that rotation then, circling the shoulders up and back, nice rotation in the neck. Bring the feet back flat and let's check on that rotation in the hips. Hopefully those hips are feeling nice and looser. Good. Hold it to one side and I just want you to bounce that back knee up and down. And let's do the same thing to the other side. Just bounce that knee up and down. Good. Onto the hands and knees. Take one last deep breath in. Make sure the hands are underneath the shoulders. So you get a nice range of movement in the hips and the pelvis. Breathe in and arch. Breathe out, tuck in round. Curl your toes under. Push yourself up into that down dog position. Try to get the heels down and just bounce the chest towards the legs. Drop down onto your knees again. And a nice deep breath in. Breathe in and arch. Breathe out, tuck and round. And one more time, nice deep breath in. Arch, tuck from the tailbone, round the spine. Slide your fingers to your knees. Breathe in, uncurl through the spine and circle the shoulders up and back. Swing the arms around the body. And well done. Thank you for joining me.